a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It is actually reported that there is immorality among you, and of a kind that is not found even among pagans. For a man is living with his father's wife, and you are arrogant. Ought you not rather to mourn? Let him who has done this be removed from among you. For though absent in body I am present in spirit, and as if present, I have already pronounced judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus on the man who has done such a thing. When you are assembled, and my spirit is present, with the power of our Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. Your boasting is not good. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump, as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us, therefore, celebrate the festival. Know with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. This is the Word of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Apostle Luke. One Sabbath day Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and Pharisees watched him to see whether he would cure on the Sabbath. To find an accusation against him. Even though he knew what they were thinking. He said to the man who had the withered hand. Come and stand here. He got up and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath? To save life or to destroy it? After looking around at all of them, he said to him, stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were filled with fury and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs>